All right, hey, what's going on? This is Dan Keller, your mortgage advisor at New American Funding. I want to welcome you to another episode of Making Sense of the Market. Today is sunny, Sunday, May 7th. Uh, I didn't have an opportunity to record on Friday. Uh, I was taking my team out for a celebration. Listen to this. We, in, in April, we closed 28 loans. Not one of them closed late. We all had raving fans replies from our real estate agents and our clients. And that's how you do it, my friends. So we were celebrating. Uh, what I want to talk to you, I've got a really important episode today. I'm going to dispel a huge myth uh, that's out in the marketplace about credit scores. Also from Mr. Dave Ramsey, one of the top financial experts, not financial planners, financial experts in the country. Uh, but let's jump into this real quick. Okay, the market, like I said before, is really, really predictable. We kind of dropped this last week just a little bit. We're within that trading range. Didn't really impact mortgage rates, but we saw the end of the week. We kind of made some progress up, and that's because of a low GDP, gross domestic product number. That is the leading indicator of our financial markets and our, and our uh, success financially in the US, and those are down. Um, the Fed did not raise the Fed funds rate. They're probably gonna wait until May, or excuse me, for June, till June to do that. And then, um, man, I'm seeing just a ton of traction from the episode I did on dual markets, where you can sell in a seller's market and buy in a buyer's market. I've got an incredible success story to share with you next week. But for right now, let's just jump in um, and just check out where, where rates are at. Government rates are still in the upper threes, which is really great. And then conventional Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac loans, depending on your down payment, depending on the type of property and your credit score, we're still in the low fours, just incredibly low 30-year fixed rates. So let's talk about a Facebook post I saw the other day, not only from Dave Ramsey, but from somebody on Facebook. And she said, when buying a house, no credit score is just as good as high credit scores. Dave Ramsey says, and he comments down below, complete baloney, okay, complete baloney. I sell mortgages for a living. If you don't have a credit score, you're in trouble if you wanna buy a home. It's not easy. Can it be done? Yes, it's not easy though. Dave Ramsey on his show recently talked about the challenges of living without a credit score, but he made light of the fact that it's no big deal. People, the, the society makes a big deal about not having a credit score. It's not really a big deal. It is a big deal. And Mr. Ramsey, I got to say that you're wrong when it comes to buying a mortgage. You own part of Churchill Mortgage. Even on Churchill Mortgage's website, they tell you how to buy with no credit score, and it's not easy. It's not easy. I'm going to share with you a review in a minute. Check this out. This is from someone who tried to apply with Churchill Mortgage. It's not good. This company, they basically said, they said they could help me and then they couldn't. So I'm going to tell you why this company got a bad review right now. Buying a home with no credit score, one, it's an incredibly tough underwriting process. Understand this, I'm a mortgage bank. I want to see your likelihood of paying me the money back that I lended you. If you don't have a credit score, what do we have to go off of? Alternative trade lines. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Number two, comes at a higher rate. Number three, higher closing costs. Number four, and it's, it's very competitive to win in the Seattle marketplace with a loan program designed to accommodate someone with no credit score. Don't believe me? Let's look at the numbers. Okay, so I put together this report through Mortgage Coach. Thank you, Dave Savage and your crew by providing this technology so I can just plug in some numbers. So no credit score, $350,000 purchase versus 5% down conventional loan with a good credit score. This is the kicker right here, you guys. APR, old number, um, and something that we used to look at a long time ago, but I'm going to bring it up. APR essentially stands for the total cost of your money over 30 years. Look at the cost of your money with no credit score over 30 years. 5.47% versus 4.3%, which is just right in line with your 30-year fixed rate mortgage. Total monthly payment is lower with 5% down with a credit score. Funds due at closing are just slightly higher because you're putting 5% down versus 3.5% down. But check this out. Your first lien TIP, which is total interest paid, 61% versus 71%. 61% of your payment is, go, is interest versus 71% of your payment is interest. Get this. Over five years, the cost of your money over five years just on the loan, $115,000 versus $120,000. There's a $5,000 difference there. The savings now from closing costs, total monthly payments, everything that you would pay over the first five years, $19,000 in savings by having a credit score versus not having a credit score. Listen up, Dave Ramsey people, you're penny pinchers. I'm a penny pincher. What can you do with $20,000 savings over, 20, or over five years? It's incredible. So, hey, if you have a credit score, 
you're in a pretty good position. If you don't have a credit score, I'm gonna move this, it's gonna cost you money, period. You can't really always believe what you see online. Here's the chart, again, thanks to Mortgage Coach, your savings over 60 months is about $19,000. Your savings over 15 years, not even 30 years, not even life alone, 50, almost $50,000. So, hey, is buying a home with no credit score possible? Sure. Does it save you money? No. Does it come at a cost? Yes. So how do you buy a house with no credit score? One, you need three to four alternative train lines. What that means is like bills, uh, electric bill, PUD, insurance, but you need to prove that you've made a payment and been on time for the last 12 months. Crazy tough process to do that. Lots of paper. If you're living rent free, you got a huge problem. We need to document 12 months of online rent payments. Number three, you got to have assets in the bank and you got to have a larger down payment. All right. Hey, I'm gonna wrap up today. More evidence, I'm gonna move my video once again. More evidence of a world-class experience is what I pride myself on. Got a great review this last week. Um, and, and you know, they say my clients just, and they, they're in a tough market too, in the Seattle market. Vastly different from, different from most of the stories that we've heard from other lenders and our friends, excuse me, our friends from other lenders. Um, Dan had our best interest. Dan and his team helped us ask, understand all aspects of the loan process. We took good, good care of them. Don't believe me. Believe my people. Watch what I'm doing. Guys, if you need anything, let me know. I'm here to be a, a resource to you, and I look forward to connecting with you again next Friday. All right, take care.